All right, well, well, well. So JLab announced the Lux ANC headphones probably like a month or two ago. And honestly, I think it's pretty sad that these are not being talked about enough. For the main reason that, for the value you're paying for these, these are incredible. They're incredible headphones. I highly recommend them right off the bat. Okay, yes, I paid for them myself. I will have an Amazon affiliate link, but that's the point of this review, is to really shine light on how well JLab did for a product that's less than $100. So in starting out, I really wanna set the stage for saying why I bought them. I bought them because I really just wanted to use them for the gym. But little did I know they're gonna be good for everything. And that's typically what I do with a lot of products I buy is I'm like, okay, I'm buying this for a singular function. I will get Bose QuietComfort headphones, and I have those for specifically coffee shops, loud offices, things like that. Where I'm like, yeah, I really want to hang out at the coffee shop, but I never know what the sound's gonna be like. So heck yeah, I'm gonna buy the most expensive, best I like for blocking out noise. I just wanted to get out of the house. You know what I'm saying? So again, these are meant for the gym, but they were great for everything. So hopefully that made sense. With getting into the sound quality, the only thing that's the weakest point is the bass. Yes, it does get loud, but it doesn't, it doesn't have the strongest feel to it. And I was expecting that. What I wasn't expecting is how crisp and rich everything else sounds, where there's a lot of clarity in these. And you can see in the B-roll, I listen to plenty of different genres of music. Everything from Jason Mraz to Big Sean to Tool. I mean, I, there's too many people to name. But that right there shows just the different categories of music I listen to. And I was impressed with everything. So if we're talking audiobooks and podcasts, awesome. The voices don't sound artificial. Like everything just sounded crisp. Like that's the sound quality I can basically explain the best without getting into an audiophile sense because I'm not good at that. It is well-balanced and crispy. That's the best way to explain these. So in getting into active noise canceling and the be aware mode, that's the awareness function that JLab is calling it to where it opens up the mics, you can hear your surroundings, it increases the volume. Especially if you're gonna be riding your bike or going for a walk, very important, or depending on where you're located, you know, you're taking a subway or something, yeah, you're going to have to listen to your surroundings due to safety, you know? I don't know if you want A and C on while you're riding a bike, but I know some people do that. So it picks up noise very well. Uh, wind doesn't get in too much. Um, when I went for a walk on a windy, when I was, there was a little bit of wind uh, yesterday, I didn't really hear a lot of noise coming through because of that. I can tell there was wind, but it was great. Even with active noise canceling, I heard a 30 to 40% reduction, if I'm just guessing, in noise volume in a coffee shop, in a lot office, going for a walk, things like that. So I was really impressed with that too because it didn't sound artificial. There's a lot of headphones that are out there that really have like a white noise that tries to mask surrounding noise. And it's like, no, 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 that's not why I got ANC headphones. I want them for the mics to work, the hardware to work. And you can tell these are all hardware. No weird white noise. And again, about a 30 to 40% reduction in noise volume. So very impressed by that. Um, the only thing that really came through at the coffee shop was the high pitch frequencies, the silverware, the uh, pitchers, um, things like that, you know, but everything else was fine. So with the app function and controls, we'll go ahead and do a separate clip of that now. All right, excuse the messy desk, but when it comes to the app, it's real simple. You have your noise canceling modes and you can toggle that on and off. Be aware, noise canceling. You can adjust it if you want on either end. And then there's the button controls. You can customize them to anything and it's pretty incredible. <laughs> because there's so much software built into these for the price. Uh, and then of course the equalizer. I like to keep it on EQ, which is the balanced. Uh, EQ2, I should say. EQ1 is the sound signature of JLab, but balance sounds best. And then there is music mode or movie mode. Really big difference in those two as far as uh, the vibrance. And then safe hearing, you can adjust the decibel limit. And then of course the firmware update and then they have a link to their store. They fold in, and you can also fold them in like this. I don't wanna mess with the mic, but that's obviously a much more comfortable position if they're gonna be on your neck. But again, they're easy to fold up and just like throw in your gym bag or something. And for 79 bucks, 
it's not like you really have to worry about roughing them up a bit, in my opinion. Like, it's, you know, there's very little risk you gotta worry about. I would say based on the mesh and overall quality of how these are built, uh, there's not weird squeaking. I mean, you can't even hear anything that sounds cheap with these at all coming through the mic. And I had the DB level pretty high. And I think they're gonna last a while. I would give it probably a year or two before I notice any defects coming through. Well, at least a year. I don't wanna go too crazy. At least a year before you notice this coming off. Last thing I'll mention is actually a microphone test. Let's go ahead and get into that now. And here's what they sound like if you were to take a call in a loud coffee shop. I mean, I'm still pretty shocked they sound this good for the price range. So that's gonna be it for my review. Oh, there's also multi-point connectivity. I will say it did work good with my laptop and my iPhone, but it's the distance with my MacBook wasn't really that far, it was weird. Like once I walked from my office right here to the kitchen, which is not even that far, like it didn't do well with my computer. It did well with my phone, but no connection issues with my phone. I have no idea why, but <laughs> maybe it's because my MacBook's a little bit older. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it. I highly recommend these. Go ahead and get yourself a pair. I'll have my Amazon link in the description below. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you on the next one.